गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन गुड मॉर्निंग क्लास फोर टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू टीच यू द सब्जेक्ट ई वी एस एंड दिस इज द लेक्चर लेक्चर फॉर चैप्टर नंबर सेवन एंड द नेम ऑफ दिस चैप्टर इज डाइजेशन ऑफ फूड दिस इज लेक्चर नंबर वन आई एम गोइंग टू स्टार्ट दिस चैप्टर डाइजेशन ऑफ फूड इन प्रीवियस चैप्टर वी नो वी एबल टू लर्न अबाउट दैट वाई फूड इम्पॉर्टेंट फॉर अस वेन वी ईट फूड सम एक्शन सम thing happening in my body what is happening in my body the digestion of food takes place when we eat food the digestion process takes place in our body by different uh, organs like teeth the first we eat food we the food enters in our stomach with the help of teeth so the proper digestion of food is necessary for all of us because the proper digestion of food release energy and when we get energy from food we able to do any work okay so how this digestion takes place in the body there are various organs involved in the digestion of food but the number one organ that is the teeth teeth play an important role in the process of digestion because this is only and only teeth which help us in biting of different fruits and different food items it helps in chewing of fruit food so teeth play a crucial role in keeping us fit because with the help of this teeth we people able to chew our food we people able to uh, make uh, our food in very simpler form which my digestive organ able to digest so healthy teeth would lead a healthy eating so we must have to take care of our teeth because if uh, we don't have teeth we people not able to eat anything and if uh, there is uh, some problem in my teeth or like uh, toothache these may cause uh, uh, cause uh, you not able to eat properly this may cause uh, malnutrition and also so we have to we have to keep our teeth healthy so teeth help us in chewing chewing it means chabana to teeth hame chabane mein help karta hai and also biting when we eat apple or when we eat any fruit items we have to bite that fruits so fruits uh, so teeth help us in chewing and biting of different food items they help us while speaking talking eating and uh, Mm, several activities with the help of this teeth only i able to speak clearly in front of you okay so this is very important for all of us there are mainly two types of teeth number one is temporary teeth and number two is permanent teeth you see when you are uh, in class um, nursery lkg ukg uh, you are having a teeth which now it's uh, but now that teeth is that teeth is not in your mouth now the new teeth came out that is known as permanent teeth so a baby start developing teeth at the age of their 6 month when this temporary teeth get start in a baby mouth uh, in the our uh, temporary teeth so it develop in the mm, it develop in the sorry when a child when a baby 
start, uh, develop uh, and uh, uh, temporary teeth starts developing teeth it, it is developing teeth at the age of six months it, it starts came me came out at the age of six months of a baby there are mainly 20 they are mainly 20 in numbers these temporary teeth is how many temporary teeth a human being have there are 20 teeth okay so temporary teeth how many temporary teeth in a human mouth so these teeth are 20 in numbers okay these teeth are 20 in numbers and another name of this temporary teeth is temporary teeth is also termed as milk teeth temporary teeth is also known as milk teeth this is also called milk teeth because at the age of six months a child mostly drink only and only milk and this is not for permanent that's why it is also known as milk teeth now the next one is permanent teeth the next one is permanent teeth when this temporary teeth start falling one by one from our mouth between the age of six and twelve in between the age of 6 and 12 they starts falling one by one in between the age of 6 to 12 in this age i think you are also in the age group of 12 or 13 years so you you feel that uh, your temporary teeth is falling one by one between this age between the age of 6 to 12 years therefore a new set of teeth the uh, and you see in your mouth also the new set of teeth came out in place of that temporary teeth so this set this set is known as permanent teeth they are 32 in numbers how many 32 in number 16 teeth in upper jaw and 16 teeth in lower jaw so this set has about 32 teeth 16 in the upper jaw and 16 in the lower jaw of the mouth this set of teeth is known as permanent teeth and when when your permanent teeth falls then no teeth came out so you have to take proper care of your teeth how you take care of your teeth why proper brushing of your teeth and uh, also flossing all these things i i give you some points that how to take care of your teeth now the structure of teeth here i already drawn a structure of teeth look at this structure this is a structure of teeth your teeth also having this structure even in every human this is the teeth of a human being so you see only the white portion in your mouth when you see in a mirror you see only the white portion of the teeth and also the pink color gums in your mouth so look at this diagram this is the structure of teeth i draw the diagram here so teeth are held in socket the pink color gums you see in your mouth you also having these gums inside the uh, in uh, below the white portion you see some pink color gum like this in your mouth this is the pink color gum in your mouth on that you see just this like this is the white color teeth in your mouth you all have to see these things in mirror this is in your 
mouth also. So you have to do practical by yourself. You have to see your teeth in mirror. You see this pink color gum present in your mouth. And this pink color gum hold this teeth, different teeth. This is the white color teeth. You see in your mouth also. So teeth are held in socket of a pink colored gums. There are mainly three parts of a tooth. Number one is crone, number two is neck and number three is root. Parts of teeth. Teeth. Parts of teeth. The number one part is crone. Number two is neck. And number three is root. We are only able to see the crone part. So the part above the gum which is visible is called crone. When you see your teeth, you see that this pink color gum and also this pink color gum and here the teeth is. So this is the visible portion. So this is known as Crone. Crone is the visible part above the gum is known as crone. The next one is neck. The next one is neck of the teeth. Uh, in our body also, uh, this is the neck. It means where the part, it is just below the crone, just below the crone and just above and where it is touching the gum, this is, this is known as neck. This is known as neck of the teeth. Where this crone part touch the gum part, this is no term as neck. This is very clear what is neck in a teeth. So the, the second part, the, there are mainly three parts in a teeth. Number one is crone, number two is neck and number three is root. Crone is the visible part that is the white part. And neck is the part which is just below the crone touching the gum is called the neck. The next one is root. Root part is not visible. Even in plants also, we people not able to see the root part. So here this some roots inside this gum. This is not visible to us. Okay. The part of the tooth inside the gum is known as root. This is known as root of the teeth. So there are mainly three parts in a teeth. Number one is crone which is visible to us that is the white part. Number two is neck where the white part of the teeth that is the crone touches the gum. This is known as neck. And number three is root part in a teeth. Root part is not visible. It is inside the gum. Okay. So these are the three parts of teeth. Now come on the come on the diagram of the teeth. Here I drawn a diagram of this teeth. This is the crone part. This is visible to us. This is the crone part of the teeth. This is the white part of the teeth which, a, which we people able to see in, in our mouth even in your mirror. So this is known as enamel. This is known as enamel. Enamel is the hardest part. It is very hard part of our body. It is hard outer covering of the tooth which is white in color. This is white in color. When you see your teeth in mirror, you also feel that having some white color teeth, this white color is the hardest part in our body and this is known as enamel. Okay? The layer below the enamel is called dentine. This one is dentine. When you get um, uh, 
cavity in your teeth you see some black color uh, part is uh, visible to you and visible uh, to doctors also so after this animal when germs continuously attack on this animal they uh, they make a hole in this animal by decaying your teeth uh, the next uh, the next part is dentine dentine is just below the enamel okay so the layer below the enamel is called dentine there is a pulp below the dentine and then after this dentine there is a pulp where the different nerves blood vessels are coming and give nutrition to our teeth so this is the pulp cavity and when you get germs in your teeth germs try to came at this point to get nutrition or to get directly food so germs regularly try to uh, make hole in your enamel not only enamel also in dentine then it reaches to this pulp cavity portion so we have to take care of our teeth because if we proper brushing or proper maintaining your teeth the germs not able to attack on your teeth so the third one is pulp cavity it means just below this dentine there is a pulp cavity in our mouth it is con connected to gum through the hole in the root so you see here this pulp connected to this last root by the help of different nerves you see here also enamel then after that this dentine and then the pulp cavity pulp cavity is connected to the root of the mouth okay of the teeth where the bone is where the jaw bone is this is the last part okay so the, the there are blood vessels and nerve inside it you see here that uh, inside this there is nerve there is blood vessels which is inside this pulp cavity now this is the structure of teeth now you see to hold this teeth this is the gum area you here also see that this is a gum gum it gum is just pink in color you see in your mouth having pink color uh, gum in your mouth also below this gum there is a tough fiber the hard fiber like structure which able to make a grip on this teeth and not able to move your teeth came out okay so this tough fiber hold your teeth very tightly and the next one is this one is cement by the help of this cement this is known as cement cement what the function of cement cements uh, try as in the the function of cement is to bind your teeth with this tough fiber so here the cement is and cement hold your teeth very firmly very and make grip on your dentine and hold your complete teeth very strongly okay so this is the diagram of teeth teeth is the this is divided into three parts number one is from here to here this is the crown part this one is the neck part and from here to here this is the root part crown part neck part and root part you have to draw this diagram in your copy very clearly and also mention the different name and you have to visualize this diagram to make uh, to make yourself uh, um, draw this diagram very clearly in examination also so you have to draw this diagram three or four times this is the structure of teeth teeth is mainly classified in three types no having three parts crown neck and root now the different types of teeth in class 3 also different types of teeth is given now the different type there are mainly four types of teeth number one is 
incisors incisors in front of your teeth incisors how many incisors there are in our mouth all these things are given in class 3 and i uh, personally teach you so the different types of teeth types of teeth there are mainly four types of teeth number one is incisors and number two is canines number three is premolar and number four is molar how many teeth uh, are in upper jaw and how many teeth in lower jaw there are 16 teeth in upper jaw and 16 teeth in lower jaw the number one is in scissors in scissors in help us in biting of an apple so in scissor helps in cutting and biting of cutting and biting the food the front four teeth in both jaw it means the upper jaw as well as in lower jaw are in scissors okay four in upper jaw four in lower jaw it helps in cutting Cutting and biting. Cutting and cutting and biting. In scissors, four in upper jaw and four in lower jaw. It means 8 in numbers. In scissors are 8 in numbers. 4 in upper jaw and 4 in lower jaw. You also have to draw the diagram of 16 teeth in class 3. In class 4 also you have to draw the diagram of permanent teeth. The set of permanent teeth in uh, upper jaw or in lower jaw. Anyone. Okay. Because 16 teeth in upper jaw, 16 teeth in lower jaw. So, both the diagram is same. So, you have to draw the set of permanent teeth of lower jaw. Lower jaw having 4 incisors and upper jaw having 4 incisors. Now, the next one is the, after incisor, there are canines teeth. Canines, in, how many canines? One, two, three, and four. There are four canines. So, the next one is canines teeth. How this is the pointed teeth in our mouth. You, uh, sh you, you, when you touch your teeth, you feel that the one teeth present in left side, right side in lower jaw and left side, right side in upper jaw is just pointed teeth. That pointed teeth is known as canines. So, how many canines are in our mouth? There are mainly four canines. Two in upper jaw and two in lower jaw. It means there are four canines teeth in our mouth. So, canines helps in holding and tearing the food. When we have to tear some food, like when we eat sugar can, we have to tear that food. So, this help in tearing. When we have to eat some fruits and some food items, this canines helps us in holding and tearing that food. These are placed next to the canines. There are four, uh, sorry, there are four, total four canines in our mouth, two in upper jaw and two in lower jaw. So, uh, you see uh, in carnivores animal like tiger, lion having very sharp canines. You see in images also, they, is, they are having this like teeth. Having this like teeth. This just pointed teeth in the mouth of lion, tiger or different dog also. This sharp teeth, 
make them able to hold their prey and also in tearing they with the help of that canines they tear the food items very efficiently very effectively so this is the function this is very sharp and strong and pointed teeth this is very sharp and strong and you also feel that this is the pointed teeth in our mouth also so this one is the second type of teeth number one is incisors how many incisors there are in a permanent set there are eight incisors teeth in a permanent set of teeth four incisors in upper jaw four incisors in lower jaw how many canines in our mouth there are four canines in our mouth two in upper jaw and two in lower jaw then after this the third one is premolar the third one is premolar teeth and then molar teeth premolar premolar after canines premolar help in crushing and grinding when you eat um, chapati when you eat rice they, this premolar teeth works this help in grinding process just work like a mixing uh, mixing of different food items mixing mixture grinder so this premolar help in crushing and grinding crushing and grinding grinding of food when you eat food we have to crush that it means when you eat uh, uh, almonds when you eat um, different uh, things just like fruits so you have to crush that fruit items and also grinding this uh, grinding uh, this grinding makes uh, yeah, crush your foods and uh, these are placed next to the canines after canine the third one is premolar teeth in our mouth there are four premolar in each jaw two uh, four premolar it means four premolars in lower jaw and four premolars in upper jaw so there are molar in lower jaw and four premolar in upper jaw okay by this this premolar is um, uh, premolar is just like uh, you see uh, i draw the diagram of lower jaw there i ma make you see that the promolar promolar is broader than other teeth it means having this like a structure of premolar this is somehow broad teeth because the main function of this promolar premolar teeth is grinding and crushing of food items then after this pre this premolar the last and the fourth one is molar teeth molar molar teeth in our mouth this is the last teeth of our mouth molar are used for chewing and grinding this is for chewing and grinding these two function chewing and grinding function is happening uh, with the help of molar teeth so when we eat the hard food items uh, hard food and these these uh, where this uh, molar teeth is in our mouth this is the uh, this is placed at the end of the mouth where the uh, complete uh, set is here this here the position of molar teeth in our mouth here the position of molar teeth in our this is placed at the end of the mouth there are 12 molar teeth there are 12 molar teeth in our mouth six in lower jaw six in upper jaw how many molar teeth there are there are 12 molar teeth six in 
upper jaw and six in lower jaw okay so how many molar teeth in a permanent set of teeth so there are 12 molar teeth six in upper jaw six in lower jaw these are bigger and broader broader than premolar teeth if the premolar teeth is uh, the size of premolar teeth is this then the size of molar teeth is somehow broader than this premolar teeth okay the main function of molar teeth is chewing and grinding this molar teeth help uh, when we eat different food item this molar teeth help us in chewing and grinding process okay by this all the different types of teeth is completed now we have to take care of our teeth before this i want to draw the diagram of different types of teeth in lower jaw you have to also draw the diagram of lower jaw there are four incisors in our mouth then after this four incisor there are canine teeth sorry there are four incisor teeth in our mouth then after this some pointed teeth that is canine in our mouth very sharp and strong teeth two in lower jaw two in upper jaw then after this canines there are premolar teeth premolar teeth in our mouth two in four in lower jaw this one is premolar teeth then after this premolar there are six molar teeth in our mouth three in left side and three in right side three in left side and three in right side this one is three molar teeth broad the main function of this molar teeth is chewing and grinding okay so this 1 2 3 4 this is the incisor teeth number 1 the next one is this 5 5 is canine okay this one is incisor this one is canine this two teeth is premolar teeth and then after that these three teeth is molar teeth molar premolar and incisors you have to also give the this 6 uh, and 7 is premolar this 8 9 and 10 is molar teeth okay there are 16 teeth in our lower jaw and 16 teeth in our upper jaw you also have to draw the diagram of this lower jaw okay by this now the next one is care how to take care of your teeth so care of teeth the next one is take care of your teeth we must have to take care of our teeth because with the help of teeth we people able to eat food we people able to speak we people able to talk we people able to um take proper food properly okay so there 
are many things happening in our teeth. When we eat any fruits or any food item, the tiny particles of food that remain stuck in the teeth. When uh, so while eating, these uh, rem these uh, small particles cause the growth of bacteria in our mouth. When these bacteria grow or develop in our mouth, it regularly it continuously attack on your enamel and if these germs are not removed they will create a sticky coating on your teeth that is known as plague it cows it cows plague in your mouth p it cows plague Plague is type of disease of this is a type of mouth uh, or teeth disease. So when uh, a germs develop in your mouth uh, with uh, that stuck part that remain parts of food items which stuck in your teeth, uh, the bacteria uh, start uh, developing in your mouth and this causes the growth of bacteria. If these germs, if these bacteria are not removed from your mouth they will create a sticky coating on your this is a just like this is a molar or premolar this bacteria make a coating on your teeth or any part of the teeth they make a coat on your teeth then after that these sticky coating call plague of and this uh, this plague or this sticky coating is on in is on enamel portion your the white portion of the teeth so the bacteria further attack the dentine you see in diagram that after this enamel there is dentine present in our mouth you see just like this so when bacteria make a cover on your enamel it continuously attack on your teeth and reaches to the dentine portion okay so the bacteria further attack the dentine and lastly they enters they reaches where the pulp is this is the portion where the pulp bacteria continuously attack on your enamel and then and then try to reach the dentine portion then again it continuously make hole on this dentine and reach to the pulp cavity portion and so this um, and they lastly come to the pulp portion this way the germs reaches deep into the nerve area of the tooth and leading sever toothache when it reaches to this pulp area with the here different nerves and different blood vessels are present with the help of these blood vessels they reaches to the root part of your teeth and you feel tooth is in your mouth that what the meaning of this the, the bacteria enters in your mouth with the with through an enamel dentine pulp to the root of your teeth and uh, this regularly attack in your uh, teeth cause the germs to reach in this portion and this cause a shiver toothache when you feel toothache it means having some germs enters in your mouth and reaches to the root area of your Teeth, okay so we have to take care of our teeth because this that because if our teeth is not healthy we are not able to eat anything okay so we have to take care of our teeth we can we have to save them from decaying from entering the germs and bacteria so there are few ways by which we can keep our teeth healthy and clean the first one is brush your teeth twice a day you have to brush your teeth twice in a day it means once in the morning and once at night before going to bed and the proper movement of toothbrush is also important you have to move toothbrush in upward and downward direction like this you have to brush like this this upward and downward you must have to brush your teeth twice in a day 
and the movement of toothbrush in circular motion in a proper way you have to you have to maintain the proper way of brushing also you have to remove the remaining of food particles from each and every part so you have to brush like this you have to make uh, make very clear or make sure that uh, the that uh, the prop the all the the stuck part the stuck food items uh, remove by while you brushing okay the next one is as your teeth after every meal when you eat anything you have to make a gargle or make a gargle would be added safety measures for this you have to make a proper gargle with water okay the next one is use dental floss or mouthwash because you uh, this dental floss is just thread like a structure and while using this dental floss we uh, we clean the clean this region this part of our teeth because when we eat food the, the the some few items stuck in this portion in this portion where the two teeth are connected where the two teeth come into contact these uh, having the small gaps in between the two teeth and this area get um, st stuck some food items so with the help of dental floss we have to make clean uh, that uh, that part of our teeth or that part of our mouth so we have to use dental floss and mouth wash mouth wash is also very important we have to um, take one uh, one or two times mouth wash in uh, in your daily routine okay the next one is eat lots of fruits and salad rich in vitamin c because vitamin c kill germs which present in our mouth so we have to eat the different fruits and salad which is rich in vitamin c it means the citrus food okay the next one is eat calcium rich food because calcium makes our bone healthy and strong and teeth is a bone teeth is also bone so we have to eat calcium rich food items like milk cheese and eggs all these things having calcium and with the help of these calcium we able to make our teeth strong the next one is visit a dentist regularly you must have to visit to the dentist uh, once in a 6 um, month or once uh, in a month also so visit a dentist regularly all these uh, measures all these things make uh, your teeth very clean and you able to take care of your te uh, teeth so you have to must follow all these important points in your daily routine okay by this the digestion of food the first one is teeth and the next one is digestive system so by this the teeth portion is completed in this lecture 1 in lecture 2 uh, the different organ like uh, the next part of digestive system digestion of next part which play important role in digestion of food that is the your digestive system uh, i give you lecture on lecture number 2 about digestive system by this uh, this lecture is completed so continue your study your by your home only you have to draw the diagram of teeth you have to draw the diagram of lower jaw and also make a proper note of different kinds of teeth how to take care of your teeth okay thank you